It's our seat. What's the number one storyline to you? It's not even relative to either team. It's about Baker Mayfield. Last year, the, the Cleveland Browns tried to build their house on the foundation that was Baker Mayfield. And that house was built on sand. It wasn't built on brick. It wasn't built on stone. And so this year, they tried a new thing. They said, you know what? We're going to build a house around Baker Mayfield to protect him. And what he's done already is lit the fire that is going to burn this house down. You can't win with the quarterback who plays football this way. The games that they've won this season, Kevin Stefanski, has found ways to protect Baker Mayfield. They run the football. They use the boot. They try to find ways to get him out of the pocket to get him easy throws. Well, Baker Mayfield foiled that plan himself with the easy interception and pick six to Mika Fitzpatrick to start the game in the one-hole defense that should be easy to recognize. He misses it. And so now your team is behind. Now Keith Butler, the defensive coordinator of the Pittsburgh Steelers, can call run blitzes on first and second downs that also doubles as boot blitzes that keeps Baker Mayfield inside the pocket and then they went into one hole leaning a safety to Odell Beckham Jr. and having their most instinctive player Mika Fitzpatrick drop and pick up holes and pick up crossers. This team is in trouble and not necessarily in trouble with that they won't win games or that they won't find ways to fight for the wild card spot but when you draft a guy number one overall that says I believe this guy is our franchise guy who can take us to the promised land. Baker Mayfield cannot. He is no Moses they are no Israelites. <laughs> they will be stuck and enslaved to who he is for a long time if he remains the quarterback. What should we say today? Well, I mean, first off, I, I got to say this. Look, I'm rooting for this kid. Everybody thinks it's a personal thing with me and Baker. No, I have a personal thing with every scout that said this was Drew Brees. Dan's tape was outstanding. And the fact he showed you why I never believed that he was Drew Brees. I knew he wasn't Drew Brees. Drew Brees would read that like it was nothing. It's easy, okay? But Baker Mayfield doesn't have that ability. When it's cloudy, he's, he's just an average guy at best. And so to me, Kevin Stefanski had done a great job in, in recognizing that, hey, look, we're going to have to do things a little different. We're going to have to do a little grounded pound because we got to protect the quarterback. Ryan talked about that and did a great job of that as well. Yes, you protect the quarterback by running the football, by moving the pocket, and that's what you have to do at Baker Mayfield. If you think for a second that he's a pocket quarterback, you're mistaken. He's not the guy that everybody said he was when he came out. Would you rather have Josh Allen now or Baker Mayfield? Well, I think at this point that's, that's almost a rhetorical question. And so when you do leave yourself in a position with Cleveland, they'll have a decision to make at the end of the season. A lot of time between now and then. Meanwhile, as we go to our next game, let's go back to Sneaky Hembo. Rex, here we go. The Patriots got held to 12 points at home yesterday. Who was the last coach to hold them to 12 or fewer in a home game, Rex Ryan? Well, I remember shutting them out when they never had Tom Brady, and I'd shut them out now with, with this <laughs> offense, too. So I'm going to have to save myself, and I'm going to be wrong, and I'm going to punch Himbo in the face. No, you're not. You're right. Yes. It is Rex. Yes. It is Rex yes. Ryan. All right. You're darn right. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.